Are you searching for an HR association to be a part of and to have a very strong HR community? You're overall dissatisfied with SHRM, the Society of Human Resources Management, and you don't like the way things are going. So I have found 15 plus organizations that you could be a part of, and I'm associated with some of them as well, and I have found great joy in being associated with them. So if you're the type of person who wants to be in a group of people, in a group of HR professionals, stick around. Let's go. Okay, so first up, we have the HRCI. And remember, I'm not going in any particular order, just kind of like only in the order in which I had originally thought of these organizations when I think about them being a good replacement for SHRM. So HRCI has a certification that is also well known in the human resources community. This association um, has been around for quite some time. They have been around for, let's see, for 40 plus years. So they've been in the game for a minute. They have, they really have a tendency to focus on the recertifications and, and the certifications that they have. Let's check them out. Let's see, they have a place for get certified, get recertified, learning, upskilling. They have a space for you to become a provider if you are a person who offers training and courses that are in alignment with the certifications. And you can also certify an organization as well. So let's look at these. So there is certain criteria that you have to reach in order to qualify for the certification. So it just kind of walks you through the entire process. They have their exam fees that are very transparent here um, as far as the A, PHR, PHR, PHRI, SPHR, and the G. PHR. So each of these come with their own fees, criteria, all of that. It's very clear and simple. One thing that I haven't really seen from this organization is kind of like um, some sort of networking or some opportunity to kind of build your tribe. I haven't seen that so much. It seems as if they really focus mostly on the certification. So you still may end up kind of piecemealing things together to figure out how to network, how to interact with other HR professionals. And, and yeah, that that's about it. I'm not seeing where they have any local chapters or anything like that, but you know what? Feel free to correct me if I am wrong, but I have not seen any of that from the HRCI organization. Next, let's move on to hr.com in which I'm a member of as well. This membership is free. If you want to partake in any of the classes, then there are separate fees for those. They offer education, certification, which is also linked to HRCI and SHRM certifications. They have events, webcasts, virtual events. Uh, they have publications, free stuff. They have a resource center for coronavirus. They also have a directory, uh, you know, for HR products, certification prep courses. It, it's just so filled with so many resources. I think this is a great place to start as well if you just want to have information at your fingertips. You know, any literature, blogs, just resources in general. They have the option to have an HR.com Prime membership, which comes with a fee, but it's really not that pricey either. So you see, we have the basic, which is where I am. They have Prime, which is $189, and they have Prime Plus, which is $399. They also have student, young professionals, and members in transition, which is really cool, especially now where we have unemployment at a very high rate. A lot of people are out of work, but you still want the benefits of a membership, just not the heavy costs that's associated with that. And down here, it lists what 
what each of these memberships come with. This is a great place to start and definitely another great alternative. Next up is HCI, which is the Human Capital Institute. They have been around since 2004. They are another stellar organization to belong to. They have a lot of resources. They have webcast, HR training. They have resources and conferences and other things that you can be a part of. I really like some of the stuff. They have certification programs like people analytics. If you like analytics, strategic workforce planning, empowering people and leaders, coaching for engagement and performance. These are really more strategic, more targeted type of HR professionals who would like to be a part of this organization. They do a really good job with furnishing content. Let's click on the human capital strategist one here. And so you see as far as the human capital strategist certification, there is an extra charge for that. It's virtual. You have the option of being virtual or in person. Nowadays, most of it is going to be virtual, but you see you have the choice and these certifications are recognized as well. So don't think that you're going to be making this investment and then it's like, oh, well, no one has ever heard of these certifications before. Well, these are well-known certifications, so it will not be a waste of money to invest in your future with through the HCI. Moving on to the next organization, which is the IHRIM. This organization also has been around for a while, since 1980. And they have a lot of education, certification stuff going on. They have a community calendar where there's always something on the calendar always a webinar series, certification exam review courses. They have a lot of activities and stuff going on within their community. They have an online store, they have a career center also, and you can see the jobs that are posted for them. So they really are specific to HRIS analysts, HR data analysts, HR systems, all of these. So they really focus, they focus on the tech side of HR. And let's look at their HR IP certification, which is something that I was looking into as well. Is that um, because it's just tech and HR is just such a um, nice relationship to have, nice melody, nice marriage to have. So the HR information professional certification. Here are, are the courses that you have. So if you're interested in anything like that, all of the resources are here on this page. Let's look at what the membership options are. So for the individual membership, we have the one year membership, which is 295 corporate membership, which comes with a bundle and also the student membership, which is $50 a year. It's really not, not, you know, it's, it's still comparable to the Sherm membership, but it's going to cost a little bit more. And I think that you will get a little bit more out of it as well. Let's move on to the next organization, which is the IPMA. Here you'll see where it is a little bit more focused as well. These, this organization is for HR, but it's for the HR individuals who are in the public sector. So you're going to see a lot of resources here for their assessment, assessment services that they have. It's for police department, fire department, corrections test, public works, other type of uh, test administration that is required for those types of jobs. If you want to advance your career, they have certifications as well, the senior certified professional and the certified professional. So it walks you through that process. They have the public sector hub, the events that they have lined up, which is an annual conference, and they have a section here to engage with your peers, 
which is always a good thing, right? You always want to be able to interact with your peers. And if you have any questions, you can always put it out there and have someone to bounce your ideas off of. They also have a place to list jobs, which is HR director, labor relations analyst, these types of things. I mean, this is a great organization, a great option also. Now let's look into their pricing. Agency membership, individual, entry level, and student memberships. So we see that for the agency membership, it starts at 417. And it, I guess it would depend on how many staff members you have if you are joining as an agency. Individual memberships start at 114. Your student memberships is 41. And your entry level professional is 83. So it's reason, reasonably priced and definitely something that is more catered to the public sector HR professional. Now let's move on to ATD, which is the Association for Talent and Development. And they have been around for a while as well, uh, for 75 years actually. And they really focus on the talent development professional in, in the HR arena. They have a lot of content, courses, events, publications, which are awesome, membership and the resources. So let's go over to their courses and certifications to see what they have going on. They have certificates, which is very well versed. It looks like they have 40 of them. So designing virtual training certificate, coaching certificate, change management certificate. So say like if we were interested in the coaching certificate, let's get an idea of how much these types of classes will cost. So it looks as if this goes for $13.95 if you are a member and $15.95 if you're not a member. So that's about the average cost of, of most of the coaching programs and sort of certifications that's out there. Let's look at the membership. The membership, very simplistic. They have the professional member, which is $259, and then the professional plus, which is $399, and the professional plus special bundle, which is $1794. Also has students, seniors, corporate, and young professional options for people that are looking for something out there. I think they have a sense of community as well. You get to network, you get to interact, and you get to ask questions, which is another plus when it comes to finding the right association for you and something that will propel your career by giving you the resources that you need to be successful at your career. Now let's move on to the National Human Resources Association. This is another awesome organization to be associated with. They've been around since 1951 and they have career services, meetings and events, affiliates, news, COVID-19 resources. Let's see, let's go under meetings and events, see what they have going on. Yeah, they have like study groups for the certifications. So one thing that I was not clear about this association, I wasn't quite sure if they only focus on California or if you can join anywhere, even, you know, their title is national, but I'm only seeing reference to California. So if you're watching this and you can bring some clarification to that, that would be phenomenal. But I think, for the most part, this is a great organization to be a part of. I don't know any people who are associated with this, but it's always worth a shot to do your due diligence and inquire if you are interested in this particular association. It looks as if they have career openings and also opportunities for companies to post their job openings there with them. So the membership is, the cost of the membership is very transparent. They have the student, which is 50, and the individual membership, which is 150, and the corporation, which is 300, and it tells you all of the stuff that goes along with that membership, which again is very transparent, and I love organizations that are just clean and clear 
about their pricing models. Now let's move on to the National Association of African Americans and Human Resources. So you can join this association at the national level and still have access to the local chapters, which is nice. So you don't have to join the national, pay a fee for them, and then pay a separate fee for the, the local chapter. So that's excellent. You have your choice of professional membership, business owners, memberships, lifetime members, and college network. Let's click on the professional membership to see the pricing. And so it's 175, which is reasonably priced. And I think that they have a very nice network. You can network with a lot of minorities that are in this space and have a sense of community when you are amongst them. So let's move on. All right, so World at Work. A lot of you have heard about World at Work. They seem to be kind of everywhere. And they, they had like a convention here, a big, a big convention here last year in, in Orlando and in Florida. They have been around for 65 years. And they have quite a bit of resources here. So you have their education, their classes, their trainings, their webinars, certification as well. So they have quite a bit of certification. Uh, most of them are towards compensation and benefits, but I believe anyone who's a human resources professional who wants to gain that knowledge and have access to the information, you're more than welcome to join. So they have the certified compensation professional. They even have Canada for the certified compensation professional. They have global, they have advanced certified comp, certified executive comp, certified sales comp, and certified benefits professionals certification. So definitely they're not lacking in, in the certs. They also have resources, which is your salary budget surveys, podcasts, research and surveys, salary data, sample HR policies, state labor law directory, pay equity laws by state. Like they really have a lot of resources for you. And these are things that the, the average HR professional should have access to. Also, it looks like they have some events lined up. Not quite sure. It looks like, yeah, they have some of them that are going to be virtual this year. And I think that's the standard across the board. I think a lot of companies and organizations are moving towards the more virtual events. Give them a shot. Check them out. Let's look at, let's see, membership pricing for them. It looks as if you can join for free. Actually, it would be zero cost just to have access to their basic information, sponsored webinars, work in progress podcasts, work span, online articles, and weekly newsletters, and limited access to the white papers. Also, as a student, you can join for $55. And for the professional, you can join for $350. I think that they are a great organization. I will look into joining up for free myself. I'm, I'm really surprised that I haven't joined already, but I will start to take this a little bit more seriously. All right, moving on to the American Management Association. They focus mostly on managers, but I'm pretty sure, you know, you may be able to join if you're a non-manager, but don't quote me on that. That's something that you would have to research. They have training, a lot of on-demand certificate programs, corporate solutions, AMA licensing. They have certifications as well. And they have a slew of resources, women's leadership events, series, skills assessments. So they're really, really in it and they really furnish their members with the resources that they need to be an effective leader. So you see just in some of the content and sections that they have here, 
analytics, HR management, business enhancement, management and supervisory skills. So being a member of this organization means that you will have those resources to just be an awesome HR person. Yeah, I'm just clicking around here. So let's look at the certification. All right, so what do they have? They have the Certified Professional in Management, which is CPM. And it looks as if that's the only certification that they have, which is fine. You don't need to have an association that has a gajillion certifications to be legitimate, right? So they just have one. And if you're interested in this certification, if you're interested in joining this organization, go ahead, feel free, enjoy. Now let's move on to the American Payroll Association and everybody in payroll knows about this because I used to be a payroll processor as well. And having that certification was important to me at some point. I just never got it, but you know, maybe, maybe one day. Okay. Maybe one day here in these tabs, they have compliance, membership, education, and certification conferences, news, and resources. They seem to have everything that you need within an organization to keep you busy and get more bang for your buck. And that's what it's all about, right? Fundamental payroll certification, that's the FPC, and certified payroll professional, which is the CPP, those come with their own requirements and qualification criteria. So that's something, if you want to look into that, let's click on the fundamental payroll certification. Let's look at it. Right. So this one here is for entry level payroll professionals, sales professionals and consultants serving the payroll industry, systems analysts, engineers, supporting payroll systems and payroll service provider, client representative. This is an entry level one and it's so worth it from what I'm hearing. It's so worth it to have it. They have all of their information outlined, the application when the exam is going to be your registration window and all of that listed on the site if you want to go check it out have at it now let's see how much it costs to be a member of this organization okay here we can see the pricing for the membership it is 258 per year plus a 35 dollars enrollment fee and let's see so that's the total cost of 293. So basically, if you're a payroll professional, you should be able to get most of everything that you need to support your career path. Okay, so now I'm going to shift over into other organizations that are more like membership, more like friendships type of groups. I would say HR Girlfriends, I'm a member of HR Girlfriends. This is a phenomenal community. We have weekly chats. We have access to resources to answer some of our toughest questions in the human resources world. You have HR advice on demand, certification courses if you are working on your APHR or CyberSafe. The resources are here member portal, membership, you click on becoming a membership. And let's see. So right here, it gives you the wheel of value here and it lets you know all the stuff that co comes with this membership. This is for $99 annually and you get access to the online support center, uh, the policy library, HR forms, HR cast, articles, training on demand, quick guides. I have referenced this library more than any of the other libraries that I have because I'm always answering questions and I'm always asking questions. This has been a very great resource for me. I love it. I love the group of ladies. I love the network and I love the tribe feel. With them, I I'm definitely renewing. I'm definitely sticking with it. I love these guys. Onward to the non-traditional HR. Disrupt HR. Okay, we love Disrupt HR, don't we? Because for me, I'm just not your typical average everyday HR person. And I love Disrupt HR because 
they are open and welcome to different ideas, different mindsets, different strategies, different ways of dealing with things in the workplace. And so they have meetings that are in different cities around the country. And it's just so cool. Uh, I, and I think internationally, I believe that, yeah, the UK, they're international now. This is such an incredible group of people. The energy is off, off the radar. You can click on any of these videos and watch any of the past videos to get a good feel whether or not you would feel comfortable in this type of setting, but the energy you feel so re-energized <laughs> after you leave one of these meetings and you'll be ready to take over the world. That's the way that I felt when I went to their meetings. I felt like, holy crap, you know, I'm going to take over the planet. But popular people, Jennifer McClure, uh, Steve Brown, like all of these people with, with their podcast and everyone, their blogs, like some of these people I've met in person. You know, Leslie is a great person here in the Orlando area. Like, and when you talk to any of these people, they're just so open and welcome and, and willing to listen and give you advice and exchange ideas with you. So just a phenomenal, phenomenal group. So I don't believe that there's a membership associated with this. The only thing that you have to pay for is attending the event, but it's not something that's going to break the bank. Uh, and it's kind of like they're having them on a quarterly basis. So it's not something that is every day, every day, but give them a shot, visit the website. I'm going to furnish a link to all of these sites that I have discussed in this presentation. Last but not least, we have Hacking HR, which I have enjoyed the content that has been coming from this group. I have joined their Slack community and it's great information. I am loving the uh, lives that they've been doing on LinkedIn and just all of the content, you know, they, they're just amazing. They're everywhere. They are international now within a very short period of time. And that lets you know how thirsty the HR environment, the HR universe has been for something different, something that's not boring and that's going to put you to sleep. Hacking HR is another phenomenal group of people. Most of their things are being done online or virtually now, but once the whole country, the whole universe reopens, we can actually go and attend any of the events that are coming to a city near you. Let's click on, let's see, some of the chapters. And you can easily search up any of the chapters. See, like here, I'm in Florida. So yeah, look at all these. Look at all of these all over the place. Isn't this awesome? So the content is free for the most part. He just rolled out the membership like not even a month ago. And it's actually not expensive at all. So we have the premium hacking HR member, which you have access to the newsletters, the global online events, the chapter online events, the YouTube channel content, which he's always putting up new videos. It's kind of hard to keep up. You have to like sit and binge watch all of it as much as you possibly can when you have a moment. And then you have the $20 a month plan, which again, you know, you have access to all of the content, the curated learning experience and any upcoming micro classes that ends it for me. These are all of the associations that I would recommend and, and that you should take a look at as you set out on your journey to finding an HR association that matches you, matches you and your morals and matches what it is that you are trying to accomplish with your HR career. Okay. So what do you think about that? Do you think you're going to give them a shot? Do you think that you're going to have a look? I mean, feel free to use any of the links that I'm furnishing below 
if you are currently a member of any of those associations or organizations or, or groups, leave some comments below because I would love to hear some of your feedback on how things are going and how you're being treated and whether or not it was a good investment. If, if you're really receiving some sort of return on your investment. So that's it for me in this video. If you like what you've heard, click subscribe and I will see you in the next video.